Welcome, as you guys know, uh, I'm Blau. I play a few characters on NoPix. When joining me is Sab, who plays Captain Slacks. And uh, are you gonna bring back Al, Al Sab? Or do you have any other character? I mean, honestly, run being. Uh, I feel like being <laughs> a captain in the PD is like a lot of work. So you're probably. It, it, it is a lot of work. Um, you know, I'm, I'm not gonna play Crim till I figure out exactly what I'm gonna do with Cop. I'm just gonna focus on PD. But I got, I got a little, I got a little. You know, teaser slash uh, plot twist with Sab. I think you'll see it in character. I'm. Just, it's gonna be a jaw drop. I'm just waiting for that moment right now. Oh, okay, okay. Um, well, anyways, chat. The uh, theme of this one, we're it's gonna be a shorter one. We're just doing about an hour, um, and this is just a like I actually just wanted to mostly get this for recording to explain to a bunch of people. The theme of this is no dumb questions. And there's a lot of new role play viewers for 4.0. And I think it'd be good if you had um, a veteran role player and someone who pretends like they know a lot about role play um, to just maybe answer some questions and uh, help uh, clarify some stuff. Um, just cause like, so, so I actually, I'm going to start us off actually. So I, I have the first question so that chat can, you know, go and think about their questions. But again, this is not, you know, necessarily like character questions. If anything, it's more about like, why are there certain role play rules? What are thoughts on this or that? So like for an example, and this is my first question for you, Sab. Um, it, it's kind of like a multi-parts. What is NVL? Ooh. And why and, did I know you're going to ask me that question? And, and it's like, and not only is it what is NVL, but can you elaborate on the different kinds of NVL and what is and isn't okay? So, mm. What is MVL? Well, it's a, first of all, it's a really good question. Not valuing your life is what MVL is. And that can, can, comes down to certain circumstances. And sometimes it's not black and white, right? Because let me ask you something, okay? If somebody is holding a gun to you, right? From a distance. Yeah. And you have your hands up, right? And they're, they're basically stating, I'm going to kill you. They've yeah. made multiple threats. They've made their intent very clear from the start what they're going to do, right? So is yeah. it really MVL to try to stop that from happening if you knew that you're going to die anyways? Is that MVL? Or is it RP etiquette and respecting the scene of somebody else realizing that, hey, this person got me. And, you know, it's probably best to just give him that roleplay scene and it's better to take the L. That one's actually, like, that's actually a tough, that's a tough situation. Especially if it's like, because again, if it's like the classic, like, I'm holding you hostage, like, don't move or I fucking kill you. That, that one's obvious. It's like That's like the easy one, the hostage situation where it's like, don't move or I kill you. It's like, well, obviously, you literally just can't move. You're, you are stuck there. But if they're like constantly, yo, I'm going to fucking kill you. You're fucking dead. You're absolutely fucked, right? I mean, yeah, it probably, de like, that's where it's like, you know, probably depends on the context, right? Like, do you actually have a potential chance to escape? Like, like you said, if they're far enough away, is there a chance that you can just run and then, you know, hopefully live? Um or, mm -hmm. you know, cause it's like, I, this is really fucked up. Like even in like real life, not all situations would have you. I have someone like ran, uh, this is really fucked up. <laughs> it's like, if there was like a mass shooter and they like pull up and they start shooting people. You're not just going to put your hands up and just like, yeah, like, well, correct. Like, you don't fight for your life, man. Right. Yeah. You don't fight for the last breath for sure. So, I mean, it's to me, uh, it comes down to RP etiquette for the most part, because just because you can, doesn't mean you should. Right. Yeah. And it's about respecting the fact you, that person got you, right? And while I might wait for an opportunity to do something, it's probably best to just role play it out through a dialogue and conversation. And if that leads to me getting shot, then, you know, it is what it is, right? Yeah, I, I do think, um, I think that's kind of, you, you default to what you said, RP etiquette and like respecting the scene. Because I think too often it's kind of like, and, and everyone everyone does this It's like a Roman empire for a lot of people where it's like, they think about like, Oh, if there was like a shooter, I would be the one to go and like tackle them. Yeah, and save exactly. The I would and be the hero. I'm the hero. Then I'm in the news and I'm the, yeah. everyone loves me. And it's like, yeah. and, and, and I think the thing is doing that in GTA role play. It's like, that is literally the chance for you to do that and not have to face the actual real life repercussions of being shot but then the problem is it's like okay but that's just main character syndrome at that point right you're, you're basically yeah. you're basically saying hey, i'm the protagonist yeah yeah it, it'd be like 
here's the one. here's actually a good way to think. it's like and, and people do do this in in g trp and and not even just in no but in other services you have this happen all the time it's like if in that the very first episode of game of thrones the guy who fled from the wall the guy of the night's watch who fled from the wall who ned stark executes the very first episode he yes. swings the sword and executes that if that guy was all of a sudden like fuck you i'm not uh, flips up s- steals the sword from ned kills him kills the guards oh and the now whole the story is ruined now, this, yeah, now well, the whole story is like cool man you just ruined the song <laughs> of ice and fire you killed john snow and now the whole fucking story is ruined right like that'd be so yeah. spoilers guys it's episode one um it's been a decade now come on guys john snow is a targaryen when, when, when did game of thrones come out 2010 2008 when was it man i think it was 2010 the, the show God, just an absolute like game. I, mean, I know this is a different topic, but for just a second, Game of Thrones was one of the few shows on this planet that I just was so excited to watch every Sunday. Like my Sundays were just so dependent on that because it gave me hope because I would have shitty days and then I would watch it and I'd get so inspired and I would love it. And I'd be so excited for next week that all the bad shit would just go away. Dude, having that to look forward to on Sundays was so, oh my God, I would like. Uh, and it was also like, it was on Sunday. So it made like Sunday, there's like a little bit of dread with Sunday. Cause it's kind of like your last day for me. I was in school yeah, at the time. So it was like, me too. Day. Me too. I was in college. Yeah. How old are you? 30. Well, I was in college. I was in high school into college, high school into college. Yeah. You're like similar age. I'm 32. So yeah, similar age. Um, yeah, dude, I, I think it's like that. It's like some people just like, like, I, I do think, oh God, this gets into a whole other topic, but like. I forgot who I was talking to. I was talking to someone about this off. It was one of the new RPers. I forgot who it was. Um, I was talking to them about this off stream. It was this idea of like, when is your character a main character versus a like kind of side character in like a scene? Um, like for instance, like when I'm on Mickey and I'm like running the intern program, like Mickey's has main character energy, right? He's like commanding all the interns around. But, right, he's the CEO, yeah. Mm-hmm. Right, but when I, well, I, I, he was CEO for an hour. Uh, not anymore, unfortunately. Oh. <laughs> uh, um, <laughs> but, uh, but when I do like the Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Club, I, I literally play a side character. I play a character called the Duel Master that sets up the duels for other people. And I literally right. am there just like spectating and giving like, adding ambiance and gravity to the, to the Yu-Gi-Oh! Duels. And the main characters are the people dueling. Right. So I think it's like people learning like when they're that. And, and and that problem then stems, I think, into NVL because I think a lot of people NVL in situations where it's like you're it's like, hey, you're not not the main character. Um give me give me some more give me some more thoughts on NVL because a lot of people in, in chat, it's like it's like the the basic chat, it's not valuing life. At the end of the day, it's like you're supposed to role play your character in a way where they are fearful for their life and want to live. You can't you know, you're not supposed to fully play like a non right. character. You're supposed to play a character that has one life, basically, right? Yeah. So a stab wound could be fatal and could cause your character to die. But obviously, everybody decides when they want to die, right? But at the same time, it doesn't mean you shouldn't respect what happens in the moment, right? And uh, I don't know. I just For me, it really depends. I can't give you like a, a finite definition of what a MVL is because... It depends on the circumstances where the character's at or what's happening in the scenario and what is going on. And based on that, then you can come to the conclusion. Yeah. And, and I know that's a PR answer. I know it's like the, 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 the you know, like no, that's the, the correct say, answer. I hope so. Yeah. No. I mean, like, so, and, and I think one of the ways you almost kind of have to do it is like, and like me and Sab can even go through like specific sort of scenes and explain why something is or isn't in the L. Like, so an example of something that gets brought up in chat and, and in my community a lot is like back in 3.0, uh, me and uh, my character, Mickey, and, and you know, were called the NVL twins. And even in 4.0... Right, because you, you would send it off the cliffs all the time in Mount Chiliad, right? Right, and, and even in 4.0, you know does that even now and basically does NVL stuff all the time. That kind of NVL is actually distinctly different. And this is where I think a lot, this is where people, I think, get a lot of mix up in it. The NVL that Mickey and you know did, and then you know even does now in 4.0, doesn't interfere with other people's RP. It is the, right, RP, it's, it's the RP itself, right? Right. 
it, it's and 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 like the 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 honest reality of it is it's like it's kind of closer to just playing GTA online and just having fun. Um, yeah, it's it's one of those things where like you're just fucking around, and yeah. then you know your character gets hurt as a result. Yeah, and it's like it's like so so for someone who's like oh like if someone's like oh well you know can send it off of Mount Chiliad but I can't fight someone with the guts like well because Mount Chiliad is not another player on the server <laughs> because you don't have right to it doesn't also yeah exactly it's not like the outcome somebody else's RP scenario too as well right yeah and and it's kind of like it's you know the and the other thing is like there is like a little bit of like yeah so i think there's like two things around so like mickey and you know sending it off of mount chiliad or doing those kinds of things doesn't affect other people and then um and then the second thing would be when we did do it in a way that could affect other people's rp we tried to kind of include them in it as well so like the example of this being like we have done cop chases doing that but instead of just doing something crazy nvl to get it's like we would leave bikes for the cops to also chase us that way and make it more like it's some crazy action yeah. movie right or like right. you know we i think there was one time where we waited for like um i think it was Hirona playing copper she like flew air one right underneath the jump and then we drove a motorbike over the hell and it was like for the scene right and well we, we most of the time ended up in jail as a result but it's like i think that's where it's there's very different kind of what i would say is more playful nvl yeah i mean i mean I, i'll listen I'll, I'll use a different example that is kind of similar to it in the same kind of just vein a clown risk right a clown risk for example i, I don't have no, no issue with it right but in character like when my character seeing all these people go up the, the, the bridge and jump off the bridge and hit the, hit the bridge and cause a lot of traffic um you know people are getting uh kidnapped people are being uh, playing the game and they're getting hurt in character i have to look at that and say well something's not right here why would somebody think it's okay to play a game on top of a bridge and jump off into traffic right yeah so i would pursue an action in character right as far as that because i'm like Especially if it happens often. If it happens, you know, every now and then, sure, right? Yeah. But if it happens often, it's like, what am I supposed to do in game, right? Like, how do I, how do I deal with that as a cop? How do I deal with that as a police officer? Yeah, I would say if I, and, and that's another example. I would argue that if you know was doing Mount Chiliad sending it bicycle runs every week, I would bet no pixel would set, would would probably ban it and say you can't do this Pro because it then at that point become too disruptive for EMS. Correct. A and PD, right? Correct. Yeah. yeah. But I think and when I think it's something that's like infrequent, right? It, it's it's not as disruptive. You know, cuz that's again, it's like it's not that it's like black or white. It's always like some degree of how much is it affecting the rest of the server, other people's RP, etc. Yeah, if people are jumping into the water, it's a completely different story, right? Cuz like it's water, right? You're not hitting concrete, you're not hitting traffic. There's people that use that road all the time, right? So like there's a like, public disturbance going on that would affect that kind of role play and then it would have other effects on other people around you. Yeah. Um Okay, and now and to give to give sort of another example of like so this is what I think so far we've covered a lot of like what NVL is for maybe like new viewers. This is a a, a thought I had about NVL that even old viewers maybe don't consider. Uh a little bit of a hot take get ready for this sab people talk about nvl pits from the cops all the time and and for those wondering what that is uh, actually you know <laughs> actually you, you i want you to tell me your thought what your take is on an nvl pit maneuver and then i'm going to give you the hot take of the crim version of it so you mm. you you first i think it's nvl for both sides to try to pit at high speeds doesn't matter if you're a cop or a crim agreed uh, and, I've, and again remember we have uh, imagine we have no complete new frogs in here uh what is a what's up oh yeah they might not have seen a pit yet so yeah i mean some of them have been crazy and the problem with the pit maneuver is decent well, no no what that is, that, that is sab what's a pit maneuver we gotta go we gotta go basic oh okay here. okay okay you're right right so <clears throat> for the people <clears throat> for that for the people that don't know what a pit maneuver is okay so in a cop in a cop chase right it starts with a cop car chasing a criminal Car that is escaping from a chase depending on what what uh, crime or infraction happened now during the pursuit if the police officers deem it very dangerous they have techniques and abilities to stop it one being the pit maneuver stands, and, and the acronym is pit stands for 
precision mobilization technique. I think that's the right name. And what you do is you take your uh, cop car, the front left, front right, depending on what position you want to have it, basically, right? So pretend, hold on, pretend this is a cop car right here, right? I'm a cop car. And this is, uh, how does this look like? Okay. Hold on, I'm waiting for the stream to catch up. Okay. And you're trying to go for, this is me. I'm the cop car right here, right? And this is the criminal car, right? So if I want to do a pit maneuver, and this is the wheel being my thumb, I'm going to line up my right index finger with it and then push on it, make a spin. So it can just spin out, and from there, we can go for a box and stop the pursuit. But sometimes the pit maneuver it involves desync, and sometimes it's done at high speed, so where it can cause more damage. Yeah. Um, and so it's kind of like... And again, I think you'd say pit maneuvers are like, it depends where in the city you are and it depends on speed and probably other circumstances for whether it's NVL or not. Correct. It depends on the outcome, right? And I, like I said, our policy is below 100. And I don't think that's fast because if it's 90 on the speed limit for the freeway, right? It's just 10 over the speed limit. Yeah. Um, and so I, this is, get ready for this. We have had, if there's any number of like, this happens all the time, NVL pit discussions all the time. And yet, and yet, I have, I do not think I've ever seen a thread about criminals doing NVL jumps. Yeah, because obviously, I mean. <laughs> because, one uh, is, because one is wicked and the other is, what the fuck? WTF. Yeah. Yeah. Is that that's that's a reaction. Though? It is crazy, but at the same time, I mean, they're one, not, they're not it, exactly the same, but I do. They're like, not, yeah, they're not the same. And like I said, I, I get the perspective of people, right? And I get why police officers are under more of a uh, microscope is because one, you're a whitelisted faction, two, mm -hmm. you held to higher standard, and three, you have so much more power and responsibility on other people that, you know, like a regular civ or, or crime would have. Yeah. So I get it. I, I I get why it's under a microscope. I think some of the feedback is fair and some of it is not. So, yeah. I mean, this is great though because this person's name is GG Chatter two thousand three, <laughs> and they said one is content, one is cucking content, dude. I, think... I love content. I, that's that's the part like people don't understand is like I'm here to have a good time. Like you think I want to get on and be miserable, bro? A sick also a sick pit is content, dude. A cop pulling off a dope pit that like, and here's the thing is like. I do feel like if it's like a criminal crashes, like does some crazy fucking NVL jump and lands it, chat spams wicked. But like, <laughs> I'm, I'm also like, I'm also like, dude, if if I saw Slacks like do some like crazy pit that like sent a car off into the water or it like exploded, I think that's wicked too. <laughs> like, I think that would cool. be. I mean, yeah, I think there's a time and place for it. I think sometimes it's pretty cool. You know, you see some crazy stuff and just, hey man, it's just. It's 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 cool. It's it's fun because police needs to be just as fun as being a crim, right? Because that way it's enjoyable. You have fun yeah. with it. You have your moments of your highs and lows, and that's what makes it unique, right? Yeah, I, I think I think for me, another thing about like, and this is another way to think about NVL in general is it's got to be like a degree of escalation, right? So if a chase just started and you just YOLO pit, it's like okay, that can just end the chase, right? Meanwhile, if, if you know, so a chase is going and a criminal does like, and to be fair, uh, cops can also follow the criminal jumps is, is another sort of counterpoint between the two. So let's say they do some crazy jump and then you follow the jump. I would argue at that point, more risky pits are now on the table for you because they have just elevated the stakes of the chase. A right? thousand percent, yeah. a thousand percent. And here's the thing. I mean, right now we're actually... Obviously, because we're not fully staffed, right? And we're still hiring more cops and we're trying to get more cops on the streets. A lot of times we're calling off chases because of a few things. If it's a misdemeanor or a small infraction, we're not going to go all out for that chase. And we might call it off early to go for something more urgent and more violent. But if it's something like a violent felony, we're going we're gonna to basically chase you till your wheels fall off, right? And a lot of criminals, aren't, I've noticed, are getting upset in character because we're calling off chases too early. So how do you feel about that? What's your opinion? Um, oh my, dude, this, this gets into like, we have a whole, 
we have a whole podcast topic for this set, which is about like how you guys are doing PD stuff because in, in my mind, um, I have always said, I'll, I'll briefly give my take on, which is I, I think a very strong and overwhelming PD, um, is what has separated no pixel from other servers in the past and has what has made no pixel. So I, I genuinely think a overwhelming PD force is, is the rush. I, I, I will always talk about the times where we have been doing some fucking crazy bank getaway. I'll look behind me, air one fucking six cruisers, a bunch of fucking cop car, you know, like the whole fucking PD chasing you is actually the coolest shit. To get yeah, I want to get that. there. I, I, we we want to get there, but like yeah. I said, I wanted to um, start slow because no. of the collapse, right? And and, and I actually, so I, my take is I actually love what you guys have done with the PD initially because the idea is, well, until recently, the idea being. Whoa, that, whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> no, 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 no. Well, well, no. Let, let me let me explain. The the I, what I here's my vision of <laughs> or, or, like, here's my take on what your guys's vision for four point zero was is basically hey we're actually gonna start with a very bare bones crew. We're going to build out a lot of good role play as opposed to cops as a mechanic. The the cops in No Pixel right now feel purely like role play cops. It's so fucking. I actually think it's really fucking good. They are characters. They're interacting with people. I've had fucking. I've had incredible. My character alone has had incredible role play content with Cornwood, with Denzel, uh, with with Slacks, and it's been some of the best. Uh, crim to cop role, like or just civ to cop role. I, I just think all of the role play involving the cops has been amazing. Where I have seen it start to maybe crack is probably in the last like week or so, when yeah. major crime. Sorry, because basically the the reality yes. of of four is yes, yeah, we didn't need a huge cop presence because there wasn't much crime, and now yes. that there were yeah. like people running around in the streets stealing cop guns, guns yeah. shooting each other wrench warfare taken to the streets making it look like some gta online kind of crazy shit it's like that's where you actually want a bigger police presence to a thousand percent i mean i'm, I'm not gonna lie to you we're, we're not ready for the conflict right we're not ready for major conflicts i mean we could probably handle the, one i don't or... think the server was <laughs> As a whole, no I'm, I'm this is also my hot take on the, and again like this is this is my ooc take on the like company versus it, it was i, I do generally i know <laughs> Listen, I'm going to be honest. I know like, well, there's two kinds of conflicts. I think it was the company versus uh, LSSU. The, uh, yeah, the, the sanitation and, and then, then had... CG versus uh, Mary's crew. Yeah. I don't think the server was ready for both of those. I think that it was chaos. I, I, I look as somebody who has lived through it. It was utter chaos nonstop. I mean, like I would go from one shooting, kidnapping to stabbing to shooting to kidnapping to um, another stabbing to a massive brawl melee combat to another person getting kidnapped to an ocean dumping to a water tower to a hostage situation. I mean, you had everything going on. It was everything. It was an all-out warfare, man. Every half the city was involved too, as well. So it was a lot of people. Yeah, and I also think it like there, there was like a there is a weird there's like a weird balance mechanic issue, which is the nature of how impactful a single gun could be made yeah. it so that robbing cops became extremely like valuable. And, and like, as an example of this, where I thought it was like, what I would argue was kind of maybe good was early on, there was like one or two PD uh, guns stolen. And then we did the, I, I loved this RP where we sold the gun that we stole back to, slacks which that scene by the way you were amazing in the scene and it was cool it made sense because it was like you wanted to get the gun off the street right now i think it's it's kind of gone to a point where it's like it's more of like yeah we need guns because they they might have a gun it's like it's almost like there's too mm -hmm. much like it, there's too much demand for guns and they don't exist and so now it's like the cops are a like they're like a high level mob that you that you, <laughs> take, that you take out to get a, a loot weapon right um we're part of the, the crim progression. Yeah, it's part of the crim. It's honestly part of the crim progression. It's like you have to you have to take out like, but like kind of. Like kind of. And and by the way, this isn't I'm not like taking a shot at like, I know that I saw the clip. It was I actually thought it was a cool scene. And there were were in character reasons for like several characters getting burned by cops and the whole I think it was like Benji, Rami, uh, Mr. K and Jean Paul 
Yeah, Mr. Kid got done dirty. I'll be honest. You know, like I see, it was pretty cool. I, like I see, it was a pretty cool. Like, yeah, like and they, and they that did that I see like, robbery of the two cops, which actually was I thought cool. But yeah, without the context or building, it did look like they were just you know take. It, it was a hard, but they were they were basically spawning in a hard mob to go try to loot boxes. <laughs> <laughs> but no, no. I, and again, I'm not saying they were. I actually do think the role play behind it was cool. But I'm yeah, that, I'm all, dude. Like, I'm all for our, like. I don't mind when cops get robbed. I have no problem with it as long as there's role play behind it, right? As long as you have an RP reason behind it, who cares? Why does it matter? It's RP, right? The, the thing I have a problem with it is, can we investigate it and can we find that gun? Because I don't want the role play to end at the robbery. I want to have a chance afterwards to investigate. And if that's possible, I'm all for it. Yeah, I think I think that makes sense. Um. But no, I, 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 you know, you, you go back, you'd asked about like, you know, the state of the cops. You know, I, I just think, I actually think the way you guys set up the cops was great. I think I'm guessing your guys' plan was as crime ramps up to hire more cops and create that like cop presence that can actually manage the crime. Um, it's just that the crime went and just skyrocketed. And that's why we've had kind of the like craziness right yeah. now. Yeah. It kind of, it kind of went like, it was like this at one point and then it like peaked. And then now it's like slowly dying down. Yeah. Uh, at least that's sort of like, you know, settled a bit. Um, uh, what? Okay. We, we haven't, we're, we're still, uh, this was branched from the NVL question. Do you have any other thoughts on NVL and, and how to sort of explain to new viewers that why NVL is a tricky thing to sort of call? I think there's obvious mm. NVL situations, but like yes, some of the I, gray I, areas. I think for viewers, don't understand what's going on. It's probably best not judge what's happening in the moment as far as MVL. But I mean, it's difficult. Like I said, because it, it just depends on what is it is happening because that's how you can come to a conclusion. Well, you know what? You should have valued your life at this particular incident. And here's why. Mm. I mean, what, one thing that's always, okay, here, here's a, here's a spicier question for you. What about like, what are some instances of like NVL that are maybe not like scene specific, but are more just like um, people not like, I would even say nine NVL in there in like that, but like not valuing injuries. That to me, I think is fail RP. That's what I found them, not NVL. Because if you got shot and you're acting like everything is fine, mm -hmm. then are you even role playing at that point? Yeah, I mean, an, an, an example of this, and I kind of want to see it be a little bit different for conflicts in the future, but um, I don't know if the stream, like this is an example of maybe new viewers not maybe understanding this, because I don't think I saw this so much from the streamers commenting on it, but like for instance, when, um, when the, uh, the company and the Los Santos Sanitation Union were in conflict, everyone was just talking about like who is still making money during that and like resources, right? It's like basically that it's like people got shot, but no one like that, like that's not- Nobody a, gives a fuck. Everybody gives a fuck about money. Nobody gives a fuck about people dying and I, preservation of life, right? I thought that was crazy that in that conflict, it was literally about who could still make money and progress during that time like that was the thing that mattered um and what's fun and, and by the way this isn't me just criticizing like the los santos sanitation union it's also criticism of, of of the company there was one role i actually think in in the entirety of all of it there were two role players who took it seriously there were only two one was and i don't actually know that the dude who did it on the sanitation union there's a sanitation union guy who permitted Yes, oh, he Hermendo, he yeah. I, dude, yeah. I feel bad for that guy. God, he, like... took it, he took it seriously and he permitted. Uh, and Dimowak took it seriously and basically ICU'd his character for three days. My perspective, like with the sanitation guys, a lot of them did roleplay their injuries. Like the guys I dealt with that were wearing their blue hats that were doing sanitation, a lot of them did take time off and I would talk to them in character and I would, even, I would even check up on them and make sure everything's good. I would even tell them that, hey, we've made arrests on so-and-so that did that and everybody. Cause I wanted to also tell people, hey, like the, the PD's trying to help out. You know, we're trying to not only just make arrests, but also inform the people that are victims of crimes that, hey, we're actually blocking these people up. Cause a lot of times that role play never happens. Yeah. 
Um, I didn't even know. I well, I mean, hey, then shout out to a lot of the L, uh, the Los Santos Sanitation Union people for 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 role playing that as like a serious thing, right? Because again, it's like you don't like you don't want to treat it as like you ever play Legend of Zelda: Breath of the Wild. One of the best games out there, yes. Hell yeah. You know when it's like the Blood Moon? Mm -hmm. You don't want to treat it, oh, it's like, hey, we're at War Odds, oh, Blood Moon. So I'm still going to go and like cook my fucking dishes and go farm rubies. But hey, there's just a few more monsters. Well, it's I a mean, bit more like dangerous, right? Like, I can tell you that a lot of people were scared. I can tell you that a lot of people were um, afraid to do sanitation. It went from having 10 sanitation guys, trucks out every single day down to like two or three. So the fear factor was working. I don't know because people were tired of getting shot or what or stabbed or kidnapped, but that factor was there i mean the economy took a hit too as well to where the materials went up yeah and the and the repair costs for cop cars went up that's how i found out i was like why were you, why they're charging so much money <laughs> so i did that I, I went back i'm like wait a second there's a war going on and it's with the sanitation guys and those guys get materials and now there's less materials out there so there's more demand not enough supply and then our prices are going up yeah so so if anything sorry and and i i should have clarified it like i think i, I think the people like role played their injuries or like or if you're just even if it's not the injuries like you said role playing the fear is really good if anything this was my criticism yep. of the company versus the sanitation it was not actually towards the rpers it's towards the viewers like that for some reason the viewers thought that it was only about like who was making money or not and stuff right. like it was that. about and, w or l instead of the role play yeah people were thinking about w and a exactly so i think on like the company side it was like yo we won this fight one and oh two and oh w and then maybe on like the other side it's like yo but we made more money w right it's like people didn't think about like what you were saying right? who's getting injured how does this affect the economy right and i i, I think and and again it's like i th i think that was mostly me seeing the viewers doing that mm. Yeah, I mean, I, I thought it was really interesting how it affected the whole entire city as a whole because of their conflict. Yeah. Like, I like when stuff like that's going on, right? Oh, a lot it, was of time, a cool, you know, it was a sick conflict, by the way. A lot of times like, you that, see beef between two gangs. Right, right. A lot of times you see, gang, you know, gang gang between two groups and it doesn't have any effect on the city as a whole except shootouts and people getting hurt. But this time it affects, affected the economy and how much it costs us as cops to repair our cop cars plus the conflict that was going on. So it was like, a double negative on what's going on as far as like i'm not saying it's a bad thing role play but affecting like the city as a whole and the economy and i was like wow i had no idea that it has so much weight to it yeah like i actually loved that conflict I i'm happy it ended too I it's like I, I that's one thing i do also genuinely hope for 4.0 is we have conflicts and they end uh, another thing that like is like a you know, speaking still on NVL, um, police holdouts. What are your thoughts on this? I personally hate holdouts for one reason, one reason only. Because GTA shooting sucks. It sucks. <laughs> it's terrible. It's terrible. I hate it. If it was like Red Dead, like whether you have cover, you can shoot through cover. It's more immersive. It's You can, uh, you know, um, be more tactical about it. You can actually shift from your left shoulder to your right shoulder instead of having everything left peak um it would make things less sweaty and more enjoyable i think it's, I I, 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 it's funny they even mentioned red dead because i would even argue i'd argue two points it's both the mechanics and also like the role play of like the the present day right like in red dead and in the wild west there were legitimate holdouts where a fucking gang of bandits would kill the fucking local sheriffs and that's it right like i'm sorry but like what what's the fucking you know who's gonna come and rescue they have to fucking go across i don't know the oregon trail yeah, or some yeah, fucking they, mountain to come reinforce. they gotta go on a journey first to get there right so yeah but if you're in a major city and you held out against the police you're dead like you're dead you're you're done you're gonna have like, snapper rooftops you know you're gonna get swat down send, there yeah they'll literally send a bomb in oh. and just kill you and they'll send a drone in there with a bomb and just blow you up yeah yeah, so I, I hope we don't have, I hope we don't have holdouts. I do. I, I think that doesn't mean you shouldn't shoot. Like the shooting cops is is not a good. Idea. I love I love like a good like cop PD almost like mobile skirmish. We're kind of like it's like a shootout on the streets. They jump in the cars, little drive by from the cars, little skirmish here, get back in the cars, or like a, an ambush. I think those are kind of cool sometimes. But yeah, straight up holdout would be an example of like that's like pseudo NVL. I would argue. 
I mean, um, honestly, if, if we're gonna have hold out, just give me like Rainbow Siege equipment. Give me a little drone RC car. Let me go inside. Let have a little flashbang. Give us something to where at least we're not gonna be lamb to slaughter. That's just my compromise. Yeah, because it's weird. Because it's like it's almost like two. Like people will be like. I feel like the cops get criticized of NVL in those situations too. Cause it's like, you guys just rant like what they're just sending cadets in to die. It's like, what, what other, you, what other, tools? what other, yeah. Yeah. What are you supposed to do? That's, that's why I don't like hold that. because I feel like I'm MVLing as I push them. Yeah. Um, well, that was kind of where we're, we're supposed to answer questions from. All right, chat. It's sorry. Those were NV, that was NVL other questions. Oh, someone said, uh, what are your guys' perspectives on uh, ERP? I think relationship role play is some of the funniest shit. Uh, I think you can't actually ERP because you will get banned on Twitch. And so that's why we don't allow it. And uh, viewers get way too invested in relationship RP. And it makes a lot of way uh, creators too invested in. Makes a lot of creators uncomfortable. Speaking from experience, I'm God. Um, all right, Sab, you grab the next, grab a, are you seeing the chat? You grab the next one. Okay. Next question. Uh, oh, dude, there's some, some spicy questions in chat right now. Hold you, on. Can, let's see here. Answer a spicy one. Answer a spicy one. Yeah. How is Sab fully not stressed out? Cause life is too short to be stressed out. Hey, I would love to hear that. That's not <laughs> really, that wasn't the question. That's literally has nothing to do with RP. Thanks, Sab. You literally... <laughs> Jesus, dude, you did. You failed the assignment. All right, ne okay. next question that you are also a asking mm. or answering. Hold on. Okay, what is the next crime you want to see in the city? Oh, I like that one. I like that one. The next crime I want to see in the city. We've had bank robberies. We've had boosting. We've had, uh, you know, chopping. We've had money laundering. We've had, what else? Uh, cryptocurrency, selling drugs. I want to see train robberies. An armed train robbery in Los Santos, up in the Blaine County. That's what I want to see. I agree. I think I, I agree. I think that's sick. Sorry, the reason I'm laughing is because someone a while ago, someone saw the the train in the city and someone was, I was like, yo, can you rob that train? And I'm like, dude, that's a that's a fucking subway. Train. Like, what do you, you want to rob a subway train? Like, what are you no, saying? No, no, no. Like, uh, yeah, yeah. They're saying the big, tra the big trains, though. Like, yeah. yeah the, the, the one that goes have some supply in it. Yeah. That yeah, yeah no, sick. no. I mean, it was in the trailer. Yeah. yeah the, the big, group, the, like the, the, the big group ones six one up north. Yeah. 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 Have sick. it like. Can you imagine you get on it and then you got to open up the, the crates and you got to hack it. You have to have a hostage on there and you negotiate with the PD and it's moving the whole entire time. I mean, that's pretty fucking cool. No. Yeah. I, I think to even build off that is what I would say. Are oh shit. Mobile, Wait, hold on. mobile. High, oh, what is it? I think I have court today. Oh, what time? I think now. <laughs> <laughs> no fucking shot. <laughs> do you actually you can be late um anyway uh, yeah, i'll uh, be called last as a witness Fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah just tell him to call you last i always see it um no uh i think mobile heists so train um a big fucking truck moving down like uh the highway like the o ocean highway or something and then even at some point like a plane Ooh, you know the big um or a boat or or a boat yes or but like anything that like kind of takes that takes the heist away from just the because i i think we just add a lot more dynamic things like more interesting negotiations getaways cop to crim interaction when it's not just i'm at a bank you know so oh piracy rp would be sick yeah all right, Sab, yeah, I know. Uh, do you want me to grab one while you're busy messaging people? Yes. Or? Okay. Yes. Yeah. Um, 
Uh, Abla, do you think there should be uh, more rules behind gang warfare, like how long they can last? Um, I'm going to be honest. This is one where I'm like, I think you have to leave this up to role play. And like, this is, this is just one where it's like, you know, for instance, I think maybe you do. I, I know uh, Hassan on Donnie wanted this long ago. I even kind of want to try and create it on Mickey, but like in character in the cities to create kind of like a convention of conflict. Like, hey, if you rob a SIM card, you give it back in 24 hours as like a courtesy. Um, does that make sense in role play of like mm. gangsters robbing each other? No. Does it make no. sense in terms of like, hey, in GTARP, we don't have cloud sync, so you can't get your contacts back. And like the fact yeah. is that like if someone actually stole your phone, Mm -hmm. You don't lose your like chat. I, I've had my phone stolen. I don't lose my phone number. It doesn't happen in real life. So it, it, you know, and the idea being like, I mean, there's been gang conflicts that last indefinitely. Right. But it's like, you know, there, there's, it's almost right. like using in character stuff to create an OOC agreement. I think that's probably the way you have to do it. Yeah. Um, I mean, I, I don't know. Like, um, is, do you think this is currently a problem right now that you see often? Or is this something that, you know, happens every now and then? Wait, say it again. Do you see this happening often as a problem? Like where people are losing their SIM cards often like that to where they have to get a new phone every now and then? Or is this something that is, you know, once in a while that happens? Uh, it's, it's bad. It's really? Like okay. Uh, I, I, I have people in my phone on their third number <laughs> and, and I, I use the yellow pages more to call people than my own contacts. <laughs> I, it's so, I, and dude, I, let me, let me explain to you why I think it's so fucking dumb. I like not even my, I'm, I'm not, I'm not going to tell you guys that it's in care. OOC. I, I am fucking annoyed with it. I'm OOC upset at having to fucking try to call all these numbers. And I haven't even had my phone stole. I haven't even been like had the worst shit done to me. It's other people that I'm trying to call. And the worst is it's like, I'm trying to call people on both sides of like a conflict. I can't fucking reach anyone. I hate it. I think it's awful. That's all. Um, Devil's advocate, you know, use pen and paper. <laughs> there you go. Or use a directory that somebody made, honestly. Well, I mean, I don't have an issue with it. I think people just kind of accept the fact that it's part of the role play that now you can lose your phone anytime and having a phone number doesn't mean it's going to always be your phone number and things can change. Yeah, and I mean, you can all you can also say that like it does maybe create role play. Like if I, if I seriously follow through with like the crim convention and we say, hey, there's a general rule of if you steal a SIM card, you return it in 24 hours and like people and like a right. bunch of sort of criminal leaders agree on that. And then someone violates that. It's like, oh shit, they broke the, the Geneva crim conventions, right? Like, you know, maybe that creates RP consequences, right? So, you know, absolutely for sure. Um, I just find it fucking annoying. All right. You grab the next question. Get, get, get a spicy one. Also, I'm going to be listening, but I have to, I have to pee, but I'm listening. Get a spicy one. Mm. See here. Good question, chat. Question. Can you discuss the difference between the consequences between, between XK and Murphy? Can you discuss the consequences of the gun situation between XK and Murphy? I mean, so as far as that, things are going to change as far as I know, right? Because what happened with Murphy and K and X, right? What What is going on is we're saying that if you're found with a gun, you're guilty of it. Regardless if, um, you know... Uh, because possession is not identical to the law, right? So because of the constructive possession of it, you're most likely to be found guilty of it, right? But now we need to define a little bit more because people can weaponize that in a way to where they can plant guns on people, right? So because of the RP element behind it, it's going to change in my opinion, right? Because if it's black and white, then you're going to see a lot of people go to jail who have jobs that have nothing to do with a PD gun. So we have to find a way to kind of balance it because it's role playing. It's a video game. 
and it's not real life, right? So that's kind of the, the thought process behind it. I, I think to add on that is that a lot of viewers, and this is like a great thing for new viewers, it is okay for judges to make wrong decisions, mayors to make bad policy, cops Correct. to make bad yeah. decisions. Because guys, in real life, judges make incorrect decisions, the justice system fails, mayors are, cor mayors are corrupt and do dumb shit, cops do awful shit, and then it's like that creates story. So now the idea is, well, okay, if people are like, oh, well, now the meta is you can just put a gun on anyone, they're guilty. It's like, yeah. And now we have to deal with those consequences. And that means that the PD and the justice system will have to deal with those consequences and then change accordingly. Yep. So I think a lot of people think that the game or like no pixel 4.0 needs to be perfectly balanced where I would argue it should actually be imbalanced and it, that it needs to be organic. Tips it. Yeah, exactly. Or, yeah. Ooh, organic's a great word for it. Yeah. It needs to be organic in a way to where you don't have to feel like you have to do everything based on the, the OOC decision. It has to be based on what the character would do depending on what it's seen. Right. And obviously I, I get it, you know, OOC still matters. I totally get that, but it has to be organic. It has to be where it's IC driven to where it does not affect that. Right. So, I mean, that's kind of my perspective on it. Um, people are gonna make mistakes. No, nobody's here is perfect. None of us. Nobody here is, uh, you know, perfect role player. Um, for Sab, since the PD handles everything internally, is there a way to make sure the community knows something has been done about the issue? Uh, are you talking about like Twitch chatters? When you say the community, what does that mean? I think they mean probably Twitch shatters, right? Like, watch the streams. That's that's my answer. Yeah, we we don't we don't watch put, the content. I mean, it's content, right? So watch it. Bro, this guy's literally trying to say, "Yo, watch my stream if you guys want the unlocks." Oh, wow, great plug, dude. Great plug. No, I said I said, I said watch the streams. Okay, oh, streams. I wonder what stream you should watch to learn about cop I, SOPs, guys. That's crazy. I mean, maybe the person getting fired. Twitch I don't know. Twitch.tv slash sab, guys. That's the one. Um, <sighs> thank you, Blau. Um, okay, well, I, I'm curious for like some like broad, like it, I feel like there's a lot of questions about like the current state of no pixels. They would have like broad questions about like role play in general. Um, oh, this yeah, is we're actually, here to educate the viewers. Yeah. This is a good education question because there's like, you know, if we talk about like MVL, this is a good one, which is like, why are they not like, what's the limit on corrupt officials? Um, as far as PD or just in general, I think in general, I, how about you speak to PD and then I can actually speak to like, um, so, politicians. So PD, PD right now, anybody can be corrupt unless, as long as you're not high command or high command. That's it. And it's found out through IC. And if you're found cor to be corrupt, you'll be fired. I, that's all it is. It's based on role play. Yeah. I, I think, I think IC and high command or, or sorry, high command, not being able to do it just kind of makes sense. Cause at that point you're like a pseudo. It's like a white, it's, it's a even higher level of whitelist, right? Yeah. I um, mean, things can change in the future, but just because of we're starting now and the structure behind it, it's best that we don't have something like that crypt loss in the beginning, right? Yeah, I think that makes sense. Um, when I was, when I was mayor in 3.0, um, I was basically trusted not to ruin the economy. Um, I was, uh, I was in terms of the, the embezzling stuff, I was, it right. was basically like a, a OOC agreement that I wouldn't embezzle too much to ruin the economy. And I wouldn't use the money to ruin the economy. And if you look at like what I did with the money afterwards, I, I, I didn't fuck over the economy basically was that. And, and that's kind of the OOC like responsibility, right? It's just like, we understand that it has to be organic, but also you cannot be too crazy about the spending because your actions can have a lot of consequences on a lot of people around you. Um. Oh, this is actually cool. Uh, I, I like that. I'm going to answer this one. Someone said, are there any real differences between mafia RP and gang RP? 
I think because of the limit, like because of just limitations of how we can express role play, and this is like a good kind of thing in general. And this is something that's like I try to respect people's role play. Um, and what I mean by this is like, um, there's just limitations on how to actually go about doing certain things. Whether you're a gangster, mm -hmm. a mafia member, wh whatever the fuck you are, for me, even if some things look similar, I try to look at the aesthetic of what people are trying to present. So even if at the end of the day, it's you're driving around in a car and you're shooting people, I'm like, hey, are you fucking wearing suits and, ta and, and you have Italian accents? Cool, you're fucking mafia. Um, you know, are you, you right. know, are you, you know, wearing, wearing colors, flashing signs? Okay, cool, you're a gang. I try to respect people's aesthetic, like the aesthetic of their RP. Um, right obviously like within reason right like you know i i don't think a mafia is is as concerned with like holding down like if they're like yo we're holding down the if they say we're holding down the block in an italian accent i'm like wait that's a little confused like what you know like there's obviously like certain things where i'm like okay that like you know but if it's like you know i i think for instance like as an example the way like the the Lang gang or whatever, the way they like role play feels like I, that feels more like a, a, a mafia style. Um, and I think yeah, like a, a like a criminal that. syndicate for sure. Yeah. Um, yeah. So I, I think it's about respecting other people's role play and what they want to do with it. 100%. All right. You have the, you have the next question. Hmm. Was it hard to learn to not use OOC and phone when you first started role playing? And are and hold on. chat was moving too fast for me. Was it hard to was it hard to learn to not use OOC and phone when you first started role playing? And do you see other role players have trouble with it? Absolutely. I mean, I'm not gonna lie to you. Uh, uh, trying to mix and not allow both OOC knowledge and IC knowledge is from practicing RP and being disciplined about now allowing both sides to blur and for lines to cross. And I'll be honest, it was challenging at start because I was so addicted to roleplay and what I was roleplaying in and out of the server. And when I was done roleplaying, I would go watch my friend's RP, right? And I, sometimes I would get that information that I'm not supposed to know about, hear about. And then the next day it would, do, it would sometimes be like in the back of my mind. But I learned in the future is to kind of that a little bit and to more just Separate that. So when I role play, it does not mix a lot. That was a great answer. Um, someone in in the chat wasn't even asking a question; they just wanted to tag you and be toxic. And they said cuffing victims is really weird. At Sab, um, yeah. So is uh, grabbing your <laughs> buddy who's been shot on the ground and dragging him on the ground while he's bleeding and fucking dragging him for like half mm. a mile mm. that's also weird right like criminals also do a lot of weird shit okay right. because that's the nature of the mechanics of the server okay right like the, oh, the fuck <laughs> well I, that that is uh, this is one of my like pet peeves is like i don't mind when well, i'll just say like crim viewers are like hyper critical of how the cops do me like mechanical executions Right. Or like do various mechanical things in game. That's great. Hold those same standards to your crim streamer. That's all. I mean, yeah. I mean, if people want to preach something like that, they should also, you know, lead by example, right? Someone said, do you think it makes sense right now to send someone to jail for one hour when there's no jail RP content? Do you want to outline, like, before we answer the question, can you outline kind of what is the general, because new viewers are probably wondering this too. What is mm. like the problem you see with balancing being a content creator and then my character goes to jail? Make jail um, a role play within itself. Turn it into an ecosystem where going to jail is almost going to a different server where you have different mechanics. You can still work um, as a character to either redeem your time off for being in jail or to um, either make connections in a penitentiary. So when you get out, um, you know, you can start working on things you left off. So that is my solution. Turn jail into content. There you go. Yeah. 
and 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 the broad for for the new rp frogs this has been a broad topic which is basically a character does something that warrants a big jail sentence and they probably should be away for a while and the real for those wondering the way it works again I'm, I'm thinking there's a lot of just pure new rp frogs in here um one one month um in game uh, one month charge one minute in game so if you charge for 60 months that is one hour in game and the reality is it's like the reality is you can go like I, there have been instances where you can basically shoot down 20 cops and in three like you in 3.0 there were moments where you could probably shoot like 20 cops mm -hmm. and you could be mm -hmm. out in a few hours mm -hmm. sometimes even less um and it's but but it's always been a really big um issue of yeah but you're like you're you're fucking with someone's content with your lively because on the flip side people get caught for like drug trafficking all of a sudden their character is on an indefinite hold and they've been in jail for like a week because that can even happen too i think people should be a different character Very but which one do you think is easier to solve oh i think what you said is, or I, what I, I think yours is infinitely easier to do <laughs> oh actually no 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 actually wait no can i go back on that no i i disagree actually let me think i think what i would say sab is this um People have been trying to fix jail RP for for years, and it just never it never works. I would rather just abandon it and say, okay, you have to make a different like make different characters. And when your character goes to jail, oh. you play another character. Yeah, I just don't think it's viable. I, I just it's been tried before. My experience it never worked out. That's been tried because, before. Yeah, not early on. No pixel, a long time ago. You know. Um, 2.0 and then I feel like we're in a new, I feel like we're in a new day and age I also think I also low-key think that making people create like forcing people to create a different character will also improve role play across the server what if you what if making a new character in jail gave your main character time off like 50 percent time off or increase the time off you got on jail so in, in a so you playing your alt made your main get time off on jail faster so it encouraged you to play your ult i'd be okay with that might might create some weird incentives but even if even if not i, I think you should just you they should just force people to play alt characters um i mean like i said i don't disagree i would like to i see jail turn its own ecosystem a place where it feels different and jail is actually jail like it feels like a prison um yeah, but I, again, I'm like, I have, I have, since I've started playing, I've never seen anyone try to do the old, like, force people to make other characters. It's, it's what I intend to do. I intend to, like, so I think, like, for instance, if, if, if on Mickey, I get sentenced to jail and it's a severe, like, felonious crime, I'm, I'm done with Mickey for the day. Like, actually, it's for the, it doesn't matter if, like, I'm in jail. Wait, but like, what if you, what if you're not done? What if you could continue the role play in jail? What if you actually could maybe, work on things in jail that could help you out of jail like maybe what if you could just like learn how to workshop at jail and make things in jail or like you know be, like I'm, I'm gonna be honest with you i've i've seen people try to do that for a long time and it just never it just never works like, why do you and, think and, it doesn't and, work and, and and by the way this is coming from someone who had a lot of fun in jail i used to do a whole thing with the doc where i would have mickey stage riots and like other stuff and the other thing is like i also just feel like it I, i'm gonna be honest with you i feel like it's just not very immersive like this idea that like i just sh i shot a cop and then like later that same day you see mickey running around in the city is just weird to me like I yeah no rather... i don't i don't i don't disagree but like i said at the end of the day it's an rp server it's a video game um you I know, know. I, I know i and again that's what i'm trying to like and i'm trying to also balance out that we're content creators earning money Correct. Yeah. I, I genuinely, I, I know, I feel like it's like pulling, it's like pulling teeth with this and, and so many people disagree. I don't, I have no idea so, that this will ever happen, but I genuinely think a really good solution would be, um, you make an, you have another character. And so it's like, yo, you shot a cop today. Cool. That car your character, your character that shot a cop is done for the day. And now you're on another character. Uh -huh. Yeah. Well, um, listen, I mean, like, I don't disagree. Like I, I'm right there with you. I, I think I just want to have a balance of both. That's all. Um, I do think ha I, I don't, I, I will admit that my solution means you can't have a balance of both. Uh, my, my solution is, um, 
my, my I think if if again and, and it's a role to be fair you could also just say it's up to the role player right um if you if you made my solution more of like a server rule you would you would kill JLRP I would agree with that um but yeah I mean I and 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 I'm gonna be honest I, I think people in my community would even say I think I did actually pretty good RP in jail on Mickey it's more just like it's it's a mixture of like so it's not even that I don't mind the RP in jail it's like it's partly also just the weirdness of I robbed a bank today I shot a cop today and I'm out and I'm out in the city again in, in like two hours right it's just kind of weird I, I I'm kind I'm I for 4.0 my plan is when my characters go to jail they're done for the day which is fair I mean I respect that um you know um philosophy behind it but I would like to see people role play those times in jail, you know, do the, the jail RP, you know, because I feel like just because you get thrown in jail doesn't mean the role players just stop there. And that's kind of my philosophy behind it is there should be more after that. That way, as a role player, you shouldn't feel like you have to log off after that. Uh, I think that's fair. Um, I, I, I guess I guess I guess the problem is that I'm like, I see people complaining about jail. When it's like an hour. And. Do you, you get what I'm saying? I'm like, people complain about jail when it's an hour and they're like, I'm stuck in jail. There's not enough RP to even fill an hour. And so I'm like, okay, Sab, then if I rob a bank and shoot a cop and you want me to be in jail for the rest of my stream for another six hours, seven, eight hours. Okay. And, and then the, the flip side of that, because I know people say like, I think K was in and did some great RP in jail. But the, the thing is, and that, and that's great. I, it's awesome. What, you, what do you do? Are you doing that every week? So if your character goes to jail, like no, once a week, no, you know, no, are you going to no, have to no. do an eight it's hour? Not, but I guess that's what I'm saying. Are you doing an eight hour jail stream once a week? Right. And, and, and for me, I'm like, I'm looking long-term in 4.0 and I'm like, I jet like, uh, and again, people could say this is a shitty take. I genuinely think the actual easier way to create immersion and to kind of just handle the RP of, of, of jail is you actually treat it like a very serious sentence like that character is shelved for a day and you play a different character and i think that is actually the best balance of creating it as a serious punishment for your character without harming you as a content creator that's kind of it yeah it's a tough it's a tough balance at the end of the day and that's what it comes down to because I, um and, and i'm also a lot of not everyone's, and, and i'm sorry but like for people who are throwing mr k as an example congratulations you're talking about lord kevin role player of the year not all of us are lord kevin role player of the year okay yeah, he's literally one of a kind yeah like i i don't think i actually genuinely don't think that's a fair person to compare to yeah he's he's literally a professional at this point yeah <laughs> like i'm i'm literally saying i am not good i am not and, and here's what else i am not good enough to to create i don't know seven hours of content in jail with what's in the jail right now uh, K is I don't think K is good enough to create seven hours worth of content in the jail once a week like I think after like week number like four or five even he will struggle with like what content he's everybody hits jail. a wall limitation because yeah. what we have because we're playing a 2013 game yeah and so at, at, at that at that point you know it's like I'm like play a different character and about and, this what if we gave jail rep and the more you go to jail the more you can farm rep so the more you go to jail, the more, you know, rep you jail, have, you become a yard rep. boss. Yeah. And you'll lock things like more slushies, more food, maybe a toilet for yourself, maybe a room for your own, depending on your jail rep. Um, I think, uh, I think the rep, I, I love the rep system. I think that it, it can be overdone. I, I know. I'm just, I'm just trying to find, uh, you know, a third way, you know? Um, Listen, by the way, to be clear, chat, I don't think mine is ever a thing that no pixel would ever like formally do. Yeah, that's impossible. That is impossible. That is I, to, impossible, to, to, please. To, to make people do other characters. They're never going to do that. I actually would recommend it to role players because also Sab will tell you that your best character is not your first character. Um, so for the people who are complaining about, oh, it's going to hurt your viewership with this, it's like, no, you're going to, you might make a new character that's even a better character. Um, I also think it helps people with role play. I think by playing multiple characters, it helps you better define uh, your character and, and it makes you a better role player. That's all. Um, all right. 
Sab, you got the next question. And then we're going to wrap up. We're, we got like a few more minutes, Chad, and then we got to wrap up and actually go roleplay. Mm, okay. <clears throat> is more scripted... Is there, is there, is there a, script, a scripted RP content? If so, how much work does it require? Do you want to answer that one? Um, I can give my take and then you can give me yours. Uh, I think scripted RP content's fine. Um... I think at the end of the day, it's it's content. This isn't it's not pure improv. Uh, it's not pure script. I think it's fine to do a little mix of both. Um, I think scripted content in um, in moderation is great. I think it's pretty simple. I mean, I, 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 even as an example, I'm I literally until the admins tell me I can't do this. Uh, wait, oh, Sav's here. Uh, I, I I'm doing. <clears> um, <throat> I, I'm I'm literally doing scripted content that breaks that technically violates several rules. Um, <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa! What's going on? Um, the the Yu-Gi-Oh duel club. If someone joins the duel club and they play a duel, like if they text the duel master that they're doing a duel, um, I, if chat tells me who wins, I I consider that the duel masters know who win. I'm so you metagaming. See you on From Drive. What was that? See you on <laughs> no, I mean, like, it, it's like one of those where I'm like, I, I'm like, okay, like, it's kind of like an in character. It's like, I see by doing an official duel, the duel masters are watching the Yu Gi Oh game or have access to your Yu Gi Oh account, is basically yeah. what I'm saying. I mean, as long as everybody knows that going into it, I think it's an issue, honestly, yeah. right? That, that's, that's where, because like, if people are on different pages, then that's where the problem starts to happen. Yeah, and I think that's one that's also like, you know, it's a little bit of like a, it's like a low stakes one, right? Whereas right. there's, a, there's other ones that like, yeah, that's like, mean, it's Yu-Gi-Oh duels, right? I mean, like there's other stuff that can be more like, you know, I, I, I think, and Sab can maybe answer this, not even on scripted, but a lot of new streamers and new viewers get really pressed about rules. I mean, Sab, I, I bet you can tell rules, it's maybe explain to them what, Role play over rule play. Uh, role play over rule play means. Well, it, it's typically where the role play should dictate the flow of the role play versus the rules that are made for role play should dictate how the role play should stop or end. Or is that too broad? Oh, I think that's pretty pretty broad. Or I mean, so, okay. Broad, I, sorry, I think it's pretty broad, but but good. I, I yeah, no, I think that makes sense. It's like hey, like let the scenes play out. There might be things that break a rule, but if by breaking a rule, it creates better role play. Like that's the thing. It's like, Correct. If Correct. you break a rule, but it creates better role play, no one cares. Uh, I literally think the best, and, and now to maybe go less broad, but more specific, I think Burn does this mm -hmm. all the time. Burn literally breaks a million rules in no pixel all the time and creates some of the best role play as a result of it. Full stop. Yeah, I mean, it's one of those things where, like, I might realize something is not really within our rules is happening, but I'm not going to stop it. I'm going to let the role play uh, dictate what's going to happen. Then afterwards, I have an issue with it. Discuss it. All right. Um, next question, and we, we've got, I'll do one more, and then Sab's going to grab one more. Oh, wait, I'm going to grab this one. So, someone said, any tips on how to improve in role play? Besides just, or not role, but role play, besides just doing it more, it can feel daunting to log on sometimes as a new player when every person you meet just feels like an award-winning comedian while your brain just sometimes freezes up. Um, Been there, done that. I mean, I'll be honest. It comes down to just you're asking, yeah, you're practice. You're asking two shit role players how to do that. Yeah, Kidding. I mean, you're. It, it comes down to practice. It comes down to just doing it often. It comes down to leaving your comfort zone and doing something that challenges you so you can have that growth mindset. It's just... That's what it comes down to it, right? Because at first, I struggled. I have struggled many times. And sometimes I continue to struggle. But it's about learning from those struggles and then, you know, improving on them and practicing the good habits. Yeah. Um, I like what you said. I think it's about... I think the what you said about pushing your comfort zone is great. Um, yeah. Uh, be cringe. Like, be cringe. Be a little... like do things that you know maybe you'll look back on like, oh why did i do that but it's like as long as you're like pushing yourself making yourself feel uncomfortable and, and, and trying new things i think that's a great way i also do think trying different characters is a really good way and like just trying different characters voices stuff like that even if i wish like, i could 
even if you end up being like, you know, a one voice Andy, right? Mm. Like, mm-hmm. I mean, to be fair, some of the best, some of the best role players are one voice Andy's. So true. Um, all right, Sab, you got the next question. What are your thoughts on the notebook? So public, so no, okay. I can't really answer that one. I don't have an answer to that question with addition of houses catching fire and the cars when they're broken enough, do you see a chance of a fire department being added? Yeah. I mean, that's going to happen. I said, that's fire a no brainer. Fire department. Yeah. Oh, bro. I'm about to fucking change Mickey's whole character. Holy yeah. shit, dude. Fire I'm forest will be a thing for it. sure. I'm bringing it back, dude. Holy giga leak. That's so good. I mean, they already have a fire and rescue in the EMS right now. So that's sick. Yeah. So um, all they're missing is the fire truck, honestly. Oh, I fucking love that. Um, There was one. Uh, There was something about. How much you put of yourself into it? Uh, there was a good one. Hold on, let me try and find it. Um, how much of your IRL self do you deliberately put into your character? And what kind of situations is it challenging to maintain character? Um, oh, this is a great one for, I, I think we can both give our thoughts on this. Uh, I think a lot, like not all characters, but uh, the vast majority of characters have a degree of, of self insert. Um, because it's just easier to play. But I think that's also true of like Hollywood actors, not comparing us to Hollywood actors, but like there, there are degree of Hollywood actors who play kind of themselves in every movie. And that's kind of self insert. There's a degree of Hollywood actors that play different characters, but they have little hints of themselves or things that they can do well Mm -hmm. in all those characters. Right. Yeah. Um, I also think that if you, here's a, here's a funny test chat. The longer someone streams, the more self inserty they, they probably become in this stream. Because oh, they, we, we get, fuck we, me. Right. We get like, am I wrong? Sal? Like we get tired. Like if you guys even watch me, I'll, I'll dip out of the Mickey voice. It's why, it's why when I am off stream and playing Mickey, I role play that Mickey is high. So I don't have to do Mickey's voice. Cause I just don't want to fucking do it. Yeah. I mean, listen, Absolutely, right? The more you do something for a long, long hours, the more repetitive it is, the more it just becomes part of your routine, who you are. Yeah. Um, that being said, if... Um, here, here's, a, here's a giga hot take. Um, if, I could, uh, if I could impose a rule on no pixel, like retroactively... Like we, it would, like we would forget, like the entirety of the past was forgotten and we started today. Uh, you can't name your character or anything related to yourself. <laughs> I'm just being honest. I, it sucks. I, I hate that. Yeah, because because people basically associate one with another. It's There's just, no separation. It's, it's just it's just hard because then it's like if I'm like, you know. If I'm Sab, for, you know, like if I was playing El Sab, for example, let's just use me, for example, right? Right? Yeah. You're talking about Sab, you could be talking about me, the streamer, too, as well, right? Yeah. Uh, don't you have a Nathan, a character named Nathan Blau? Yeah, but the character Nathan Blau is literally me. That's I, I would argue that's different. Right? That's so, a character. Uh, that, that's yeah. a, that, like, that's actually different. Like, yeah. Yeah. I would argue that like that is literally me. Like that it is not it is not a character, it is actually me. And I don't I that is not me really role playing. I am I that is not role playing, that is pretending to IRL stream in Los Santos. I am role playing literally as me the streamer. So that's why it has that name. Um whereas like yeah, to flame sab L Sab is like him playing his crim character that has his name. Uh, next question. All right, I do have to go to f- for court before I get contempt oh, of court sh- and I, I go to jail. Okay, you, you get to answer one more. I'm forcing you to. 
Do you feel a structure that your character feels while role-playing? Absolutely, all the time, every single day, in my vein. Yeah, so on that note, and, and, <laughs> and, and on that note, and actually to wrap up the role-play podcast, for the, because this was for new viewers asking questions about role-play, and also for the old viewers, like, I, I ask everyone who's in this chat or whoever sees us on YouTube or on any of our other podcasting apps that we're on, I like that transition, that was great. Um, we are on all podcasting uh, apps. We are going to be going and doing this once a week, so we'll be back next week. Next week, we are going to be bringing in new role players who are brand new uh in 4.0 and we're gonna be talking to them about their experiences starting with that but uh the the point i was trying to wrap up there is uh everyone in this chat and on all the podcasting channels youtube wherever else uh just like i don't know be nice like don't be assholes like just don't uh, try to not harass actually don't even try don't harass the streamers try not to be too mean like realize that we're people it can be stressful for us um yeah that's all like don't be dicks stop backseating and 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 as always the best thing you can think about is role play treat it like a show hey enjoy the entertainment treat it like a show watch the show and enjoy the content stop worrying mm -hmm. about you know i don't know other shit yeah, well said. Uh, Sab, shout out your channel and whatever else Which you want the people to know. Dot TV slash S. Sab, find me there. Thank you so much for inviting me over for the podcast. I got to go to court. Love you. Bye-bye. Right, he's going to court.